On November 23, 2024, the United States Navy officially welcomed the USS Beloit, LCS-29, into active service during a commissioning ceremony in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This Freedom Variant Littoral Combat Ship, LCS, is the latest addition to the Navy's fleet of versatile high-speed vessels designed to operate effectively in the challenging nearshore environments known as littorals. The LCS program was initiated to provide the Navy with a class of ships capable of addressing asymmetric threats in shallow coastal waters, which are often too restrictive for larger ships. These threats include mines, fast attack craft, and diesel-electric submarines. To meet these challenges, the program consists of two distinct ship classes, the Freedom Class and the Independence Class. The USS Beloit is a Freedom Class vessel, developed by Lockheed Martin. The Freedom Class features a steel monohull design that prioritizes speed and maneuverability, with an impressive top speed exceeding 40 knots. These ships are highly capable of swiftly navigating shallow waters and responding to threats in dynamic, nearshore environments. The lead ship of this class, the USS Freedom, LCS-1, was commissioned in 2008, and since then, the Freedom Class has become a core component of the Navy's fleet. In contrast, the Independence-class ships, built by Austal USA, utilize an aluminum trimaran hull. This design provides enhanced stability and a larger flight deck, which is particularly beneficial for operations involving aircraft or unmanned systems. The lead ship of the Independence class, the USS Independence, LCS-2, entered service in 2010, and like its Freedom class counterpart, it is also capable of reaching speeds in excess of 40 knots. One of the most significant innovations of the LCS program is its modular design. Each ship can be reconfigured for different missions by swapping out mission modules tailored to specific operational needs. This modular approach enhances the ship's versatility and ability to address a variety of threats. The three primary mission areas are Surface Warfare Asterisk This module focuses on countering small surface threats and includes systems like 30mm guns and Hellfire missiles. Mine Countermeasures Asterisk These modules use advanced sonar systems and unmanned vehicles to detect and neutralize naval mines. Anti-Submarine Warfare Asterisk This package includes towed sonar arrays and specialized systems designed to detect and neutralize submarine threats. By incorporating these mission modules, LCS ships can be quickly retasked to handle changing combat requirements, providing the Navy with a flexible rapid response capability in critical littoral zones. Despite its innovation, the LCS program has faced several challenges over the years, including cost overruns, maintenance issues, and concerns about combat effectiveness. These issues have sometimes led to delays in shipbuilding and raised questions about the Navy's ability to deploy these vessels in high-stakes scenarios. In particular, the program has faced scrutiny regarding the ship's ability to meet operational readiness standards during periods of intense combat. In response, the Navy has taken proactive steps to address these challenges. Maintenance protocols have been improved, and new ships like the USS Beloit, LCS-29, and USS Nantucket, LCS-27, which was also commissioned in late 2024, are helping to bolster the fleet's readiness. These improvements are aimed at ensuring that the LCS program can continue to contribute effectively to the Navy's maritime superiority, particularly in contested littoral zones. The USS Beloit and its sister ships play a crucial role in the Navy's broader strategy to maintain maritime superiority. Their high speed, modularity, and shallow draft enable them to operate in regions where larger ships would be restricted, allowing them to conduct a wide range of missions, from high-intensity conflict to humanitarian assistance. The ability to deploy quickly, combined with their specialized mission capabilities, ensures that the LCS program remains a vital component of the Navy's force structure. As global security challenges continue to evolve, the LCS program is adapting to address new and emerging threats. The integration of advanced technologies and the lessons learned from ongoing operations are helping to enhance the effectiveness of these ships in meeting the demands of modern naval warfare. The commissioning of the USS Beloit is a significant milestone for the U.S. Navy as it strengthens its fleet in preparation for future operational challenges. With its combination of speed, flexibility, and operational adaptability, the LCS remains an essential asset in the Navy's quest to maintain a strategic advantage in contested waters.